When productive capacity is greater than aggregate demand, we have recession. During the lifetime of most of the students in this class, a number of relatively mild recessions have occurred. Thus, your frame of reference for the problem of recession is probably a little clearer than that of inflation. Think about what happens during a recession. Businesses cannot move their products. I always imagine boxes piling up on warehouse shelves. As a consequence, businesses begin to cut their variable costs. And that usually means labor costs. Recession, then, is scary for ordinary people because they worry about losing their jobs. So, we see that both inflation and recession are undesirable economic conditions, and we would like to avoid both if possible. What might government do to help our economy steer clear of the inflation and recession problems? Keynes explained that government can adjust imbalances between aggregate demand and productive capacity by manipulating fiscal policies, monetary policies, or a combination of fiscal and monetary policies. The basic theory underlying fiscal policy and monetary policy is fairly simple, provided we understand what the basic problem in an inflationary period or a recessionary period is. Let's begin with inflation. As we have already established, during an inflationary period, aggregate demand exceeds productive capacity. We have too much demand. How can government decrease aggregate demand? The two tools of fiscal policy are taxes and government spending. If government wishes to dampen demand, it can raise taxes. Simply put, the money government takes from you in taxes is money that you cannot spend on a new iPod, a new car, or a vacation. When you and people like you have less money to spend on consumer goods, demand decreases and the inflation is abated. Alternatively, government can decrease demand by cutting its own spending on public goods and services. If you think about it, government is a consumer, a huge consumer, buying national defense, public infrastructure, public education, and many other public goods. If government decreases its own spending, this takes a considerable amount of money out of the economy and the inflation is abated. Obviously, government can use a combination of raising taxes and cutting spending to combat inflation.